Hey guys, welcome back to the Calibrate Tools channel. I got a question for you. Have you ever had a situation where your car hood won't open like it's stuck closed? Well, I just encountered that problem recently. So let's look at some of the reasons why that may happen. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so this is the hood release that's under your steering wheel on the driver's side, obviously, right under the dashboard on the driver's side, okay? And if you pull this, this is supposed to open the hood. Everybody's familiar with that. Well, sometimes this handle can actually come off for whatever reason, it can get broken and it won't allow you access to properly open or pull on the cable that's connected to the latch under the hood, okay? So that's one reason why you may not be able to open your hood, but it's not that common. So let's look at some other reasons why that may happen. So this hood release here is connected to the hood latch by means of a cable here, okay? This is the cable, and you can see it running all the way up into the uh, hood area, all the way to the hood latch, which you can't see, but I'll show you in a second. So when you pull on this hood release, it pulls that cable and it opens the hood latch. So another reason your hood may not open is because the cable here, right? The cable here snaps or it gets broken itself. So there's no connection between the hood release and the hood latch because the connection is severed, it snapped. So that's one more reason that your hood may not open. So let's look at the hood latch and see how that works. Okay guys, see this cable here? This is the cable that we're talking about that's connected to the hood release. So it comes all the way from the hood release. So this cable, if you can trace it back, you can trace it back to the hood release right by your feet on the driver's side of the car, okay, or vehicle. So that cable runs all the way up through the hood area around, at least in this vehicle, across here. And that's where it terminates at the hood latch, okay? So here's the hood latch mechanism. As you can see that cable, right, runs all the way through and connects to the hood latch right here, right? So right now the hood latch is in the open position, okay? But when the hood latch is in the closed position, when you close the hood, so when the hood closes, now this is the hood, this is underneath the hood right here, this portion, this little piece of metal rod here is gonna fall right between here and this hook is going to close over it this is how it's going to look let me show you here i'm going to simulate closing the hood latch by pushing on this portion right here so here we go okay so that's how it looks when the hood is closed okay guys let's look at what happened here so when we push this hook this way simulating closing the hood, that rod that's underneath the hood pushes this down, which in turn causes this hook to move this way and close over here, right? And it locks in right at this point here. You can see where the two connect right here. So if you try to open this hook, it won't open because it's blocked by this portion here. You see that? So the only way to open it is by pulling on the cable here, pulling it this way and that's what happens when you pull the hood release inside the car. It pulls the string this way. This cable pulls this back. Matter of fact, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So let me go inside the car and show you how that works. Okay guys, did you see what happened there? I bet most of you guys thought that when we pulled this back this way, this would come flying open. Well, that's not how it works. You see, this portion, where it connects right here, like I showed you guys before, that's the primary locking position, okay? But there's also a secondary locking position that is a safety precaution in case this fails. Let's say for some reason this portion slips off and allows this to open up. Well, as you saw, even if this moves this way, 
this will not open because it's a secondary locking mechanism. It's a secondary safety mechanism, okay? In case this slips off, say due to a failure of the spring-loaded mechanism here, this slips off, this will not open, keeping your hood down, okay? And you don't want your hood flying open uh, while you're doing 80 on the freeway, do you? So this hook right here is a secondary locking mechanism. It's a safety mechanism in case this portion here slips away or for some reason this spring-loaded mechanism uh, fails. But how exactly does this hook open? Well, the answer is pretty obvious, guys. This hood latch mechanism with the hook here is only designed to be open when the hood release is pulled in the vehicle in combination with the spring on the hood pushing up the hood at the same time. It's a safety mechanism otherwise. So let's talk about that spring and how it works. Okay, guys, before we close the hood, there are a few things you gotta know about what's up under the hood before we can understand how the lock opens. So right here is a spring. That spring plays a critical role in why the car hood opens in the first place. Okay, and of course you have the rod that falls down into the latch, and then you have this mechanism here. When you open your hood, you gotta press on this right here, open this latch to release the hood as well. And by the way, this hook right here is also a safety mechanism that keeps the hood closed, right? And it falls right down into this hole here. So I'm gonna close the hood and explain to you guys how all of these work together to keep your hood closed and also to allow you to open the hood. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the hood release. I'm gonna put my hand under here and press on that lever to release that safety lock. It allows me to open the hood. See guys, this hook fell into this hole right here and that keeps it locked as well. But you have to press on this to release it, right? And I'm sure you guys know that already, but I'm going somewhere with this. When this rod is locked up under this hook here, pulling the cable with the hood release is not what releases it initially. But the hand release pulling the cable does play a part in releasing the hook, okay? And how that works is, when this is pulled back and the spring on the hood pushes the hood up and you let go of the hand release, as you can see, it connects right there. When you let go of the hand release, this portion of the latch pushes against this curved portion down here, pushing the latch open as well. The spring pushes the hood up just enough for this to release. And that's all it needs for this portion to push down on this curved portion and push the lock open. So when the spring pushes the hood up, it's just enough for this to catch. And there you go. So the spring is connected to the hood, which is connected to the rod. When the hood is closed, this spring is compressed, right? The spring is compressed. When you get out the car and press this lever, where this hook is released from this hole here, the tension on this spring pushes the hood up. Okay guys, now that you understand some of the mechanics of how a car hood latch system works, well, you can see that multiple things can go wrong here. One of the main culprits that people don't suspect is the spring here. Over time, this spring can lose tension, right? It can become compressed to the point where it's not pushing up the hood enough. So if you manage to get the hood open, you may want to replace the spring. You know, a mechanic may tell you, okay, you got to replace the spring. Or if you're not around a mechanic, just take the spring and tug on it and kind of, you know, stretch it out a little bit so it can have a little more tension when you press it down, okay? This mechanism can also fail where it can lose its tension as well. It's also spring-loaded. And also you have a connection on it that requires a screw or something like that. That can fall out, that can fail as well, causing the hood not to open. Down here on the hook release cable, you see this right here, this little end piece here that holds the cable onto this portion of the latch, 
that can fall off or come loose causing the cable to slip out disconnecting it from the latch as well anywhere you see a joint or a spring or any type of connection they can fail over time okay guys those are some of the reasons why your car hood may not open why it may be stuck closed but it doesn't hurt to take some wd-40 or some lubricant and spray the latch every now and then to keep things in working order okay so if you learn something today about car hood latches you know what can go wrong if your car hood doesn't open hit the like and subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one